Hey guys, uh, welcome to this video on how deduplication works in Congo Simpani. Everybody in the industry talks about deduplication, but how it works exactly is something that we need to understand from the scratch. So, in this video, I will take the opportunity to explore the deduplication concept in Congo Simpani and how do we come up with different things and how do we resolve the problems are being discussed in this video. First of all, let me make it very clear. Deduplication is a very big concept. Not even in Simpana, I'm talking about the generally the backup uh, appliances as well as the applications. It's a, it's a tremendously big concept. So I cannot roll up everything in this concept, but I will take you to the 10,000 feet overview on how deduplication works in Commerce in Panama. So let's get started. So let's make it a very interactive uh, presentation. So let me start writing down what I'm trying to tell you. So starting with is to understand the definition of deduplication. There, there are hundreds of definitions you can go through if you Google what is deduplication. But to my knowledge, deduplication does two things. One, it does the transmission of data and the second one is storage efficiency. So, how is it transmitting the data? See, deduplication is actually it's a method to transmit and store data by identifying and eliminating duplicate blocks of data during the backups. So this is actually the deduplication term was derived from single instance storage. So this term was derived from single instance storage. So when let's get back to the transmission of data. I have a client and I have a secondary backup storage. So, in order to transmit the data from the client to the secondary backup storage, I need to use a subsequent amount of network traffic. So, in this case, in a deduplicated backup case, the first backup which happens will be a full backup. Like all the data blocks will be transferred from the client to the secondary backup storage. In a non-deduplicated work methodology, every time the client needs to send all the data to the secondary backup storage. So this is consuming a lot of network resources. So in deduplication, if a backup goes through a deduplicated backup methodology, then the transmission will be very efficient by reducing unique data during backup operations. So that is the first concept of deduplicated backups. So that needs to happen on the source side. We are going to touch that points in, in the later module. So the second one is uh, storage efficiency. When I say storage efficiency, I'm not storing all the client's data which is almost unique in most of the cases. So in this case, in a deduplicated backup case, I am storing only a single instance block of data by saving a lot of storage space on my secondary backup storage appliance or a disk storage or a tape storage. So uh, we need to understand one thing very clear when we are planning for the deduplication scenario in Comfort Simpana. Like we need to understand what is global deduplication, we need to understand uh, the deduplication database and we need to understand how to back up and how to recover the database. We need to monitor the deduplication ratios because some file systems gives you a better deduplication ratio than a database or some other application. So that is most important and we need to understand what is the management, 
how to manage the deduplication ratio and how to manage the deduplication operations in the Comfort Simpana software. There are many other things that we need to dig in very deep in order to understand. I'm not going to cover all these factors, but I will cover in depth on how the deduplication works in Comfort Simpana in this video. If you would like to expand it on any topic, you can post it in the comment section and I will take it from there and I will make a separate video which explains you what you're looking for. So let's get started. So we have uh, a client and the secondary storage. Let's call it as appliance. So the data is moving from the client through the media agent and goes to the secondary storage of files. So what happens exactly? The first thing happens in Comworld during a backup operation, the backup job operation, what I call, is the first thing it happens is it generates signatures for data blocks. So let's write it down. A data block can be a variable size or a fixed size. So it generates the signatures. What is a signature? For example, I have a data block. Sorry. I'm just giving you an example. This is a 4K data block I have and I generate a signature using the hash program. Now, coming to hash programs, there are a number of hash algorithms that are available in the market. For example, SHA, single hash algorithm. All right, it does in 128-bit and 256-bit. We have something called Blowfish. We have something called Doofish. There are a number of algorithms which does hashing functionality. So forget about that signatures and, and forget about the algorithms because it gets so complicated if you go through the algorithms. So it generates a signature. For example, the signature for this data block is KI something. Let's say S-A-N-T-Y. So this is a signature that has been generated for the data block. So this is the first thing that happens and when the data block com compression and the signature generation and the encryption are performed in that order on the source of the destination host. So the second thing that happens here is the comparison. So a number of data blocks are being signatured and now it's the comparison. Comparison, how it works. In Commvault Simpana, uh, a new signature is compared with uh, something they have is called DDP. That is D duplicated database. Let's call it D duplication database. So all the signatures, I mean the Sandy, is stored in this database and the subsequent comparisons are being done against this database. How it is done? You have two variables here. That is, acknowledge. I mean, when a signature is presented for comparison, if, if the signature is already present in the DDB, It gives an acknowledgement. Yes, I have the signature called SAND. The second one is NAC. NAC is a negative acknowledgement. When a signature is presented to the deduplication database, it gives a negative acknowledgement saying the SANDY signature is not available on uh, the database. So this is exactly what happens in uh, the deduplication database. So we need to back up this database and we need to know how to restore this database. 
that's uh, again I as I told you as it gets complicated I want to put it to the next um, video on your request so, so now during deduplication process two different media agent roles are used these roles can be hosted by the same media agent or a different media agents. Now we have something called a data mover role. Let's write it down. What is a data mover role? See, a media agent has right access to the disk libraries or the tape libraries where the data blocks are stored. And we have something called the deduplication database role. This one is the media agent who has the access to the DDB that stores the data block signatures. So, when you create a, a deduplication database and there are two different uh, media agent roles that can be assigned to the media agent in order to access the deduplication database. Now, we will talk about uh, the strategies for uh, deduplication implementation. Now, everyone says uh, deduplication implementation can be done on two sides. One is on the source side. The source side is the client side. So whenever uh, a backup job has been initiated, automatically the job itself, when it zips all the files, and it identifies the deduplicated blocks and it updates the database and sends only the data which is unique and only the data which is not present in the deduplication database. That is one uh, side of deduplication, what we call it as source side deduplication. And in COM world, we have something called a media agent side deduplication. So let it write down. Uh, before going further, uh, for people who doesn't know what is a media agent, media agent, uh, media agent is something called a DTM. If you read the patents of uh, Comport, media agent is nothing but a DTM. DTM is data transmission manager. So what it does is it takes the data from uh, the source, the client, and it transmits the data to the secondary backup storage. So that's exactly what a media agent does. So when the deduplication happens at the uh, media agent side, we call it as a media agent side deduplication. So these are the two techniques for deduplication. Now there is a new concept, uh, what we call is as global deduplication. This is very important. So global deduplication, actually it provides a greater flexibility in defining the retention policies when protecting the data. So to consolidate the remote office backup uh, data in one location, and when you must have, uh, you know, manage data types, such as file system, virtual machine data, and all this, and you are consolidating the data and deduplicating it on a global deduplication side, then we call it as a global deduplication strategy. So that's uh, the thing. So there is another concept called um, deduplication to tape. How deduplication to tape works. This is actually we call it as silo storage. So deduplication to tape can copy deduplicated data tape in a deduplicated format. So we have, uh, we already know what is a, a hydrated, rehydrated format, hydrated format in tape libraries. So deduplication to tape extends to primary disk storage by managing the disk space and, and moving the data uh, which is deduplicated to the secondary storage. On tape, it responds automatically to, to request uh, a restore operation by copying only the necessary data 
blocks and from the disk library and then restoring the data. So that is uh, a simple concept there. And we have, uh, I also want to talk about the dash copy and uh, dash full. Uh, dash in uh, convert Simpana is deduplication accelerated streaming hash. So let me write the definition because many people don't know the definition of dash copy. So this is a copy which is an operation actually uh, where the deduplication enables storage policy copy to send only unique data to that copy. The dash copy uses network bandwidth uh, efficiently and minimizes the use of the uh, storage resources. For example, the dash copy can only transmit unique data blocks uh, and it reduces the auxiliary copy job by 90% of uh, the size of the backup job. So that is a dash copy. That uh, completes the basic uh, concept into deduplication. If you want to have uh, any further information on deduplication, you can give it in the comments or you can contact me on Sandeep Serum at Outlook.com and I will respond to your emails and be in touch with you. Uh, for any help on Convolt Simpana, for that matter, any help on backup appliances and applications. So, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this video is informative to you and I hope you learned something out of this video. And thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.